Hi from me, Bernie B. Hamilton's. We are going to paint a wooden door. Now this door has been varnished in the past. And now we want to paint it in a grey colour. So this is how we're going to go about painting the door. The first thing you're going to need, believe it or not, is a screwdriver. You need to remove the door handles from the door. And if you've got any Kotux, remove that. You want to have the bare door. To have a professional finish. So now we've removed the door handles, any hooks, we've got a bare clean door. Well, not bare, we've got varnish on it. So we want to give it a light sand with good quality sandpaper from Hamilton's and 80 grit. Just give it a good sand, scratch the surface so that our primer coat keys well to the varnished surface. Okay, so I'm going to use a 50 mil paintbrush and I'm using Hamilton's Viva paintbrush, which is a, wait a minute, I'm pointing down, yeah, sorry, forget, put a drop sheet down, you don't want to mess. So as I was saying, I'm using Hamilton's Viva 50 mil paintbrush, which is a very good quality brush for general applications, I like cutting in along the edges of the door. So we do all the cutting in work first, because this is the place where the roller doesn't get in quite nicely and you might mess on the frame etc so a nice 50 mil cutting in edge along the it's like framing the door uh, put a framework of primer and once you've done that then you can roll the door and i'm going to be rolling the door with hamilton's valor roller which is a superior ultra smooth finish roller and it's perfect for water and solvent based enamels as well as varnishes and it's durable and easy to clean so there we go, I'm applying a water-based high adhesion primer to the varnish door. You could use universal undercoat if you wish. Uh, with these primers, with water-based, four to six hours and a solvent universal undercoat leave overnight before overcoating with your top coats. So there we go, let's speed it up and let's get this primer on the door. Let's leave for a couple of hours, then we're ready to start painting our top coats. Okay, so primer is dry, ready for overcoating. I'm using a water-based enamel. That means I can paint four hours between the coats and I can wash my brushes and rollers under the tap. If you want to use a gloss enamel or a non-drip satin enamel oil-based, you certainly may, but then you must wait a day between the coats. So I'm doing all the cutting in with the Hamilton 50 mil Viva paint brush. Once I've done all the cutting, I'm ready to roll my top coat. Okay, I use my tray set with my Velour roller and I'm going to roll a nice thin coat of the entire door. I'm going to wait four hours and then I'm going to apply a second coat and then I'm done. And once you've finished your door, be careful for the first week or so because the paint cures and gets harder and harder with each day of drying and curing. And that's the second coat completed. So remember, use Hamilton's rollers and brushes for the perfect finish.